I've always wondered what Explorer Steve's favorite Swiss Army knife is. Now I know. I'm pretty sure everybody has some kind of knife, women in your purse, men in your pocket, maybe at home, maybe even a whole collection of knives, and I'm no exception. And I like the Swiss Army knife, I always have, and when I was a kid I always dreamed of having the biggest Swiss Army knife they made, and that's this one right here by Victoria Knox. Let me open these up. Now in case you're wondering, this isn't my favorite Swiss Army knife. It used to be, but not anymore. I'm just showing it to you. And I used to like to open it up like this, and you can show it to any small kid, and they'll invariably say, hey, can I see it? And that's when you just grab it and you say, here, catch. And you like fake, like you're going to throw it at them and watch them scramble for cover. But anyway, it's got a lot of just really neat little tools in here. And that's all I can call them. This is like a complete little toolkit, miniature. You know, what can you use it for? Well, I guess you can use it for a weapon, yeah. But uh, let me go through and I'll show you. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, poke somebody in the eye with those. Let me show you each one of these little tools in here one by one so you can kind of get an idea of what it's all got in there. Now I'm hoping that this is going to focus and it looks like it's going to cooperate here. Anyway, the first thing it's got here is this little small screwdriver tip with a bottle opener on it. And that could be very well the most important thing on a Swiss Army knife is that bottle opener. It has a Phillips head screwdriver. And it's good for like a small size Phillips head. It's got, of course, the knife blade. And these are all stainless steel. Everything in here is like surgical stainless steel. Okay. Let's go to the other side. They have a smaller knife blade. I'm waiting for the focus. And that's that one right there. It's got this file on it. It's more for like uh, metal or wood. It's got a small saw on there. You can saw through wood, and I've tried it. You can saw through bone. It has a fish scaler and what looks to be a little ruler on there. Nice little pair of scissors, and I will tell you, these things are sharp. You can actually cut your fingernail toenails with those. Small pair of pliers, what are you going to get with these? I guess they're great for holding small things. And, and the, both the pliers and these scissors are kind of spring-loaded. Look, a little magnifying glass. You can use it to start fires with if the sun is out. And a regular standard blade screwdriver with, yet again, a... Uh, bottle opener. They have a leather punch with a hole in it which means that you can do some stitching. It's got a small hook. Not really sure what that's for but I guess you could reach in somewhere and grab something out with the hook. It's got a little chisel. The tip of this is beveled and so you can probably use it to carve a little like uh, ridge into some wood smaller screwdriver blade. Or no, maybe that's the chisel and the other one was a smaller screwdriver blade. And then it has the corkscrew and they put a little protector on the top right there so you can open a bottle of wine if you ever needed to. And of course it has that small little ring on there which you can carry it uh, on a keychain type of thing or a clip, clip it to your belt loop. And it's a nice little conversation piece. It's a little big. You know, they do make uh, holsters for these that you can put on your belt and carry them around that way. They're a little bit heavy in the pocket. Like I said, if you set this on your desk somewhere or in your den and somebody sees it, you know, most likely they're going to ask about it or just pick it up and start playing around with it. It's a toy that you're never too old to get. Instead of messing with the focus, let me just kind of set this here. You can take a peeky-poo at it. Now, in addition to the tweezers and the toothpick, it has this little thing right here. It just looks like a punch. Maybe a center punch, hole punch, who knows. Just thought I'd show that to you. Now, I've checked, and Victoria Knox has since made a larger version of the largest knife they make. 
And this is almost comical, who's going to fit that in their pocket. But like I said, nice conversation piece. Now after this one, I got a smaller one. Because I saw that movie. And the name of the movie was 127 Hours. And it was about Aaron Ralston. He's an outdoorsman that went canyoneering in uh, some canyons. I think, I believe it was in Utah. And while he was hiking, a big boulder fell and trapped his arm between a uh, rock and basically a hard place. You know, his arm was wedged in and he couldn't free himself. So he spent some time drinking his own urine, uh, ran out of water, and as uh, he lost hope, he decided he was going to cut his arm off. But one thing that he forgot before he left to go on his canyoneering trip is he forgot a Swiss Army knife that had, of course, the saw on it. And so the hardest thing for him to do was to, to free his arm. And I guess basically after he cut away the skin and the muscle and the tendons, he just snapped it by breaking it off all jagged. Now if he had this with this little saw on here, he probably could have done it a little bit cleaner or a lot cleaner. And I'm not kidding when I say I specifically bought this knife and I use it on my camelback. You know, they have little carabiners, clips everywhere on it. And I carry it around with me. Not only because it's handy and it's got a knife and other things on it, but specifically because it has that saw in case I ever have to cut my arm off, I will be able to. And of course, it's got this little, you know, corkscrew and the leather punch with a hole in it so you can do stitching with it as well. Pretty cool. So since I use this one the most, of course, the little toothpick and the tweezers have since fallen out of their little places and, you know, to be lost forever. But here is the latest one that I think is going to be my most carried. It's going to be an EDC uh, use pocket knife. And it's a small one. It's the nail clipper one, the 580. So if you're interested in purchasing one, that's what you look up. The Victoria Knox Swiss Army Knife 580. And let me open this up and I'll give you a look at it. That's it. As you can see, it's small size. It's about the size of your pinky. I put it up there because I wanted to show you the size comparatively to the middle size one and to the large one. So there it is. Now let's fly around it. You can see it from this direction, that direction. Now these come in a couple of different colors. I think over the years they've made them in black like that one. They've made the Red ones always, they make uh, like aluminum handled ones, they make them with wood handles. So they come in a few varieties nowadays just uh, I guess as marketing. You know I prefer the red because that's the original. Anyhow, let's get rid of a couple of the larger ones and we'll go over the small narrow nail clipper 580 model. Like I said, it feels like a quality little item. All surgical stainless steel. Of course the number one feature of the nail clipper 580 is the nail clipper and they have this little tab right here you just press down with your thumb and that's going to allow you to get the nail clipper out. See how it kind of pushes, pushes it up and out of there. There's a little shot of it right there and then you can just grab it trying to hold it steady in the focus here and there's the nail clipper all extended. And from there, you flip this around over the top, and look, it starts to look exactly like a nail clipper. Let me move in a little bit closer. Maybe you can see the Swiss Army etched in there, probably by laser. And this is manufactured beautifully. That is a nice looking tool right there. No burrs, no sharp edges, highly polished. Nice to look at, nice to feel and very exquisite. It's like a, a gentleman's pocket knife right here. The mechanism works fabulously. And to close it, you just flip this back around and push it back in its cubby hole. And that little black thing right there, the little black ejector comes back down flush. That's what it looks like. It's got a couple other things in there. A nail file. I mean, why would you have a fingernail clipper without a nail file? And I know you know why, but, you know, 
I mean, it goes with it, right? So it's practical. So you can cut your nails, and if you get a hang nail or something off to the side, you can use that. It has a knife. You, know, you can do knifely things with it. It's very sharp, stainless steel, polished, highly polished once again. And on the other side, has that small pair of scissors, much smaller than I have on the, the largest Swiss Army knife that I have. But like I said, it's spring operated. You can see it right there. So you can just use it with your thumb. The way they design this, it makes it very comfortable to hold the whole unit in your hand while just using the tip of your thumb to work that. Very nice. And you can see how narrow it gets and it allows you to fold it back up and it sits flush down in there. Now these also have a reusable toothpick which I never use because I don't think it's very hygienic. I guess in an emergency you got something stuck in your tooth you could use it. And on the other side it has a small pair of tweezers. I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say this because I've used these before but these are very capable. They're, they're designed and made to very high specs and I'm trying to touch the back of my camera for the focus box to see if I can get it to focus and there it is. You can see I need a little lotion on my fingertips here by messing with all those knives but the tips of them are just, you know, they meet exactly and they'll pull a splinter out if you need to. All right, listen for it right here. Did you hear that? That's surgical precision and now I'm going to move this out so you can see how clean it cut it if I can focus and I can look at that I can just reach over and just snip off that rough little end I know you heard that so there you have it there is my review of the Victoria Knox Swiss Army 580 nail clipper model like I said it's a lot of quality packed into a very small package uh, exquisitely made and like I said I think I got this for like $22 off of Amazon you can check quote me if I'm wrong uh, you can go ahead and in the comment section put down your favorite Swiss Army knife if you have one or any type of knife that that you like you know I, I personally like a lot of different type of knives I have quite a few uh, this just happens to be mine uh, that's it for this video and Take it easy, people. See you next video. So if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so you can get future notifications. See you later. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.